านมากเลยโอเค Look, I met Tom Cruise and I did talk to him about the movie and I told him the things he did wrong. I told him what he should have done. <laughs> so I know all about that. So, anyways, here's my uh, youth. There I am at uh, five years old or six years old, whatever that first picture. There's my high school graduation photo. What a nerd! <laughs> and I was back then. I was a nerd. And then there's my pilot graduation wings photo, and that's my wife, Janice. We've been married 26 years. It's our third marriage. It's her third marriage. It's my third marriage. Five marriages, no kids, no pets right now. <laughs> <laughs> Woodstock, that's where I'm at. I'm sitting at the very top of that hill and looking at the stage. It was about this big from where I saw it. And I went, what the hell am I doing here? I was wearing a white shirt with a tie, wing top shoes, I was the only one dressed out of the every, a half a million people. So therefore, I said, I don't think I fit here, so I left. Those are the schools I went to. I tried to go to University of Maryland first, and I wasn't mature enough, so I dropped out. Then I went to a junior college, and then I ended up getting a scholarship to University of Miami, Florida, Air Force ROTC. Graduated from Miami, and then I got my master's degree at Embry-Riddle up in Prescott. These are the different companies I've worked for. I've got like four careers. You heard three of them, I'm advertising sales rep, I'm a dental consultant, and also a Top Gun fighter pilot, now a mortgage guy. So I've done a lot of different things. I also was an, a comptroller for the state of Florida as an auditor. I would go in there and get money for the people. That's exactly what I do today. <laughs> These are my two jets I flew. The F-4 Phantom was the first one that I got to fly. And then I happened to be a Top Gun in the Air Force. I was one of the first F-15 pilots in the Air Force. So that goes back in the 70s when the airplane came out. And I don't know if you know, the Streak Eagle, the F-15 Streak Eagle, holds all the time to climb records all the way at 100,000 feet in less than four minutes. And I'll show you a picture at the end here of what I used to do. There we are, air refueling. I've done about 35 air refuelings. And you got to be very sensitive when you're underneath a KC-135. <laughs> That's Darth Vader. There he is. That's my call sign. And he sits alert at Bitburg Air Base, ready to chase the enemy. And he had his name on his jet. He had his mask. He flew with a mask, as you can tell. And there's my other pride and joy, my Corvette. I still own it. 1990 white Corvette, and it used to be called Vader. It's now F-15 Jet is the name of it. Okay, Megastar. Let's talk about Megastar for a second, and I'll get back to flying. <laughs> I've been with Megastar for 11 years, and I do specialize in reverse mortgage. I've been doing it for 21 years. I've dealt with over 1,000 clients. And to qualify for a reverse mortgage, you have to have at least one of the two has to be 62 years of age. The other one can be younger now, and never used to be that way, but I can do younger than uh, one spouse can be younger. And the, the qualifications are they just have to have some equity in their home, anywhere from 35 to 60 percent, depending on their age. The younger they are, the more equity they need. The older, the less equity. There are two types of reverse mortgage loans. There's a HECM loan, which is an FHA, and then there's the jumbo. The jumbos, I can go up to $10 million properties and give them about $4 million in cash. And that cash is tax-free money. Lump sum, boom, if they have a property at that level. They also can use a purchase. They can buy a home with a reverse mortgage. So that's something that's been around for about six years. And the advantage of that is, is that they can just put maybe a half or a little more than half down payment on the house. And they have no payments, right? No payments! That's right. The requirements are uh, they have to maintain the house in good working order. They got to make sure they mow the lawn and trim the trees. Don't want a mess. And they got to pay their taxes and insurance. Right? <laughs> All right, loan costs. Well, there's just three minor loan costs. One big one to the government. Heckam requires 2% of the appraised value. And the maximum loan amount is at 726 right now. 
So if that's 2%, that's almost $15,000 upfront fee for the government insurance to cover their loan if it goes upside down. And to guarantee the money if they're getting payments. That's the other thing they do for them. Then there's my fee, which is based on the government. I don't get to choose. I used to make 2%. Not anymore. A lot less. 6,000 maximum is all I can make. But I'll make anywhere from 2,500 to 6,000 depending on the size of the loan. And then the third fees are the typical closing costs you see on any mortgage transaction. Okay? Benefits. No payments back. They get a non-recourse loan. If the loan goes upside down, they're not responsible for the debt above what the house is worth. They own the house, not the bank. They can sell, they can pay it off anytime they want. They have full control of the property. That's the misnomers, the myths that you'll see. And there's the myths, the big ones. They think the house should be free and clear. No, if there's a mortgage on the home and there's enough equity, I pay off the mortgage and you have no payments. So if you're making $2,000 a month payments to the house, then guess what? That's in your pocket now because I've just paid it off. And you don't have to pay the loan back until you both pass away or you sell the house, or if you don't pay your taxes and insurance, then we got another problem, <laughs> okay? They say poor people need to do this. I have a lot of millionaires that do reverse mortgages. There's an investment strategy that Kelsey knows and that Matt knows that you can use a reverse mortgage as an alternative to your typical IRA 401k and extend your cash for many years. So we're seeing more of the financial planners using this with their wealthy clients or people who have homes free and clear. They're using it a lot now, okay? What seniors will say, how can I afford to live in my house for the remainder of my life? They're worried about that. It's hard living day to day because I don't have enough money. That's a big one I always hear. I'd be better off if I did not have to make mortgage payments. Yeah, I can get rid of them. Large bills, yeah, we'll pay those. I wanna pay cash for my new house but I can't afford the new house. That's another thing. So they can't afford to buy $500,000 because they just sold the other house and made three hundred, dollars And they need, I can give them the other $200,000 and they can buy the house for five hundred, dollars no payments. Unbelievable! <laughs> it's amazing to me. These are my referrals. Everybody's a referral. You're the first one and then I got all kinds of people. I'm leaving a sheet of paper on your desk that's got information on the back is referrals and also tells you how to refer me by verbiage okay now that's me taking not me in that picture but that's us taking off I could park that jet in a football stadium on the end zone line and take off before I hit the goal post on the other end yes I could do that with this airplane with less fuel of course <laughs> but it can be done so that's uh, that's what we do so I got a little treat for you. I got a dogfight video, training video of us in Germany, flying over the skies in Germany. And two F fifteens flying against one F fifteen and F five training. I'm in number two. I'm the wingman on this one. That's not somebody screaming, that's a missile that's got a growl in it. Missile in range, that's a gun tracking kill at a thousand feet. Pulling about three to four G's in some of those maneuvers.
F5, kill on an F5. Another gun tracking kill, a thousand feet. Ha, ha, ha.